uh, we'll start with this question from Notice, who asks, 1S batteries, are they garbage, or is my gear lying about what full charge is? Charger says 4.35 volts, Whoop says 4.2 when it's plugged in. How can I trust a low voltage warning? I've noticed this too, and it drives me crazy. So uh, the first thing I would say is that if you really want to know, you gotta get out a multimeter. Like a charger is usually gonna be pretty accurate, but especially a tiny whoop charger, sometimes they're not as calibrated and you can't really trust them quite as much. Um, so uh, if you really wanna know, pull out a multimeter and measure the voltage on the battery with a multimeter. The other thing you gotta keep in mind is that uh, the charger is charging to 4.35 volts. But the way that charging a battery works is like, it, think about this. If you, the, the battery is at say 3.8 volts, if you apply 3.8 volts across the leads of the battery, how much current will flow? The answer is none. Because you got 3.8 volts here and 3.8 volts here, they're balanced, if you, right? If you think about it, there, there's no potential difference to cause current to flow. So in order to charge the battery, what the charger does is it increases the voltage across the terminals of the battery. And when the voltage is higher on the charger side than the battery side, current flows into the battery and the battery charges up. And what the, what the charger does is it manipulates the voltage it's applying to the battery to cause current to flow. So you get whatever one amp, two amp, half an amp, whatever you want. It adjusts that, okay? So what happens at the end of the charge cycle? Because it's really important to not overcharge the battery, right? The battery has to stay below 4.2 volts or 4.35 volts if it's a high volt LiPo. What happens is that as the vo the voltage the charger is applying, so the battery's at 3.8 volts, the charger applies, let's say, 3.9 volts. Current starts flowing. The battery starts coming up. As the battery comes up, the charger increases the voltage it's applying to maintain the current going into the battery. But as the charger reaches 4.35 volts, now it doesn't want to increase that voltage anymore. And so what happens is it switches and it holds 4.35 volts. And as the battery continues to charge up, the current going into the battery goes down and down. Okay, so what, ha what you can see is that we've got, if you're familiar, do you familiar with Zeno's paradox from Greek philosophy? I'm not gonna, not gonna dive into it, but this is a Zeno's paradox situation. If the charger is at 4.35 volts, then the battery can never reach 4.35 volts. Because as the battery approaches 4.35 volts, the voltage difference goes down, and so the current flow goes down. So the battery, over time, it slowly and slowly increases. And what happens is that the charger monitors the amount of current that is flowing, and when it gets below a certain amount, it stops the charge cycle and says the battery's fully charged. But the battery's not actually at 4.35. It might be at 4.34. What I do, and I'm not saying this is a good idea, I set all my chargers to like 4.21. <laughs> and then that like ensures that the battery's actually at 4.2 when the charge cycle is done. On higher end chargers, you can actually adjust this threshold where the charger goes, fine, the charge cycle is done. Right? You can adjust that. And it'll take longer to finish it off and it'll get it closer and closer to that, that final 4.2 or 4.35 volt threshold. So my first question would be, when the batteries come off the charger, are they really at 4.35 volts? Or if, is the charger being a little bit lazy and it's stopping the charge cycle early because it's just not that sophisticated? And then the other thing I would wonder is, is the is the flight controller miscalibrated? The other 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 thing you should keep in mind though is like if you've got a PH 2.0 connector, there can be significant voltage drop in the PH 2.0 connector. And I know that when you first plug the battery in and the motors aren't spinning, there's very little current flow, and so there should be very little voltage drop. But I would want to actually plug the battery in and measure the voltage at the excuse me <laughs> at the flight controller not just measure the battery voltage before I plugged it in, and I would verify that all that stuff was accurate. So, very interesting question. It's always bugged me as well. 